Hey guys, Jay! Welcome back to the channel. Guys, this is crazy. While all of us were being distracted by the events of the Hasbro PulseCon 2022 convention, a couple of uh, images have appeared for original solicitation photos for the Master Universe Origins figures, and I gotta tell you, it's been pretty amazing what we've been able to see this week alone. So I wanted to share some of those images with you. Uh, before we get started, guys, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up to two episodes a week, and I hope you guys will enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. Well, guys, without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this and see what kind of slithering announcements came out from the Master Universe Origins figures. Let's have a look. So many of these announcements come today from the Mass of the Universe Origins fan page on Facebook. Definitely head over there and give them a like and a follow, guys. They're a great resource from fans in and around the fandom, as well as sometimes we get wonderful sneak peeks at little leaks here and then. So definitely give them a like and a follow. Oh my goodness, guys. Through adultcollector.org, which is one of their associations, the Mass Universe Origins fan page has posted these wonderful images of Mechanek and the Road Ripper. Holy crap, guys. We found out about this pretty much uh, rumors of it here and there. You know, friends of the channel, Toy Habits, they've been talking about it for quite some time. But now we finally get to see some actual solicitation photos. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Look at that wonderful packaging art. Holy crap. Mechanek and the Ground Ripper. Interesting, you know, pairing. Um, <laughs> I, I, I can't remember exactly if Mechanek was ever paired with the Ground Ripper back in the 80s, but Mechanek is one of my all-time favorite Master Universe characters. He really is so much fun. But uh, let's find out whether or not he still has the gimmick or if it's just a little bit of a change uh, overall. Uh, let's, let's have a closer look at this. I do love the, the illustration, though. Uh, another, another wonderful work, probably by uh, Axel Jimenez. Beautiful stuff. Uh, it says here... Mechanek and Ground Ripper, Speedy, uh, no, uh, Speed Mechanek into into combat. That's right, Speed Mechanek into combat. Wonderful. Of course, the landscape of Eternia is very, very barren. <laughs> the sky is multiple colors, as we always know uh, from these wonderful um, illustrations. Again, fantasy epic come to life. Just wonderful. Here we have, wow, the Road Ripper and, of course, Mechanek. The Road Ripper almost looks exactly one-to-one -one as it did back in the 80s. I still have my Road Ripper somewhere. It's in my basement. i got to go dig it out. But seriously, this is actually what the Road Ripper looks like. I'm pretty sure uh, the the seatbelt, if you will, has already been deteriorated away. So this is going to be a wonderful new addition back to my collection. This is going to be excellent. It appears as though they have an actual swappable head sculpt for the Road Ripper. Now, that's interesting. Uh, I don't know what it's based off of. I wonder if it actually has something to do with some original illustrations that were from back in the day, maybe in the comics. Um, I do not believe that that's actually the way it looked in the Filmation version. I believe this is actually the way it looked in the Filmation version. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I think the, the Road Ripper was actually red uh, in some iterations of the cartoon. I'm not 100% sure. Somebody can help me in the, in the comment section below. Let me, let me know if I'm correct or not. I'm probably wrong. Oh, but Mechanek, wow, he's looking so well put together. He looks amazing. And we can see here in this group shot that uh, he does not retain his, uh, you know, extendable neck. It's no longer part of his gimmick. He actually does have a replaceable neck uh, with the ball joint. Uh, you know what, in, in a lot of ways, that's that might be a really good option. I mean, it looks really cool. I do like the way, um, you know, it extends, uh, you know, more or less the way it needs to. Uh, it's, it's, it's acceptable. Although I really did love that extendable neck gimmick. It was so great. And of course, his gigantic yellow mace. Oh my god. I remember thinking as a kid, what the heck is this? Like, talk about a bludgeoning device. It was just huge. And it was actually kind of heavy uh, for, for, for how much plastic was in there. It was actually, cra it was actually pretty crazy. Having a closer look, man, oh my gosh, look at Mechanek there. Um, it it appears to be uh, vac metalized uh, lenses, which is just beautiful, because that's exactly the way Mechanek was in the original 80s version. I love it if they've been able to retain that. That's just beautiful. His classic Mechanek armor, which actually was shared by multiple characters uh, in the Master Universe line with different colors. Of course, Stinkor being one of the, one of the ones that comes to mind. I love the way he's still holding his huge mace with just one hand, man. These guys are just so buff. And there, there is the, the the ground ripper with, of course, the new head sculpt. Interesting. I don't. I, seriously, I am struggling to remember where this head sculpt comes from. 
I do like it though. It does look it does look very very cool. I I am I am actually a very big fan of that. It, it looks really really nice. I really do like it. There it is again. Um, and of course, this has his extended neck piece, which is of course a swappable piece. It does the job. Uh, you know, it's pretty much the exact same size as his original neck. We can see a little bit more bulge. You know, it's it's bul it's bulging out. Sorry, we can see that it's bulging out. I mean, you know, it, it's it's obviously because of the way the gimmick works. You know, with this new swappable head feature. I do. I would rather have preferred it being that longer, skinnier neck. But you know what? I do think it, it works just fine, and I'm, I'm actually very, very happy about this, and super excited that we're getting this pairing, uh, you know, in the Master Universe Origins. Just absolutely amazing. I can't wait to get these guys in my collection. There's a shot from the back, and, you know, there's, there's not much else here to, to really talk about. The um, the armor that Neck and Neck has always worn, uh, you know, is pretty much shared with multiple characters in the series, so I'm really loving the fact that it's all there. Love the stickers. Uh, all the stickers on my Rotan are pretty much gone, so I'm loving the fact that, you know, they've, they, they've been able to bring all of that back, and it's just looking so beautiful. I can't believe it. Um, one thing that I don't think it's been retained, at least I can't see it here, uh, somebody can help me with that. Um, if, if we go back here and take a look. Yeah, it does not have the ripcord. It does not have the ripcord. It's literally just a vehicle which rolls, I guess. Hmm, interesting, interesting choice. Uh, if you, if anybody remembers playing with this thing in the in, in the 80s, man, you would rip that thing and it would it would fly across the room. I remember hitting my mom's ankle and she literally uh, took the... Uh, the slipper and and taught me a lesson that night. Yeah, that was that was bad. But yeah, this is this is interesting. That the fact that it's only a ro a rolling vehicle, it actually does not have any, uh, you know, rip um, uh, what's it called? Uh, rip rip cord features. Interesting. Very very interesting. Still, very very exciting to get this in the collection. I can't wait until uh, it arrives. In freaking incredible. Other announcements came along the way this weekend, uh, including some wonderful packaging shots of Ratlor, Cobra Khan, who's going to be a huge fan favorite uh, figure, Boltman, who is part of the Sunman line, and the most exciting one, of course, uh, because it is part of the Snake Man line, is Snake Armor He Man. Now, these are the first official official photos we've seen uh, on backing cards, and it's really cool to see them here in you know their their, their overall packaging form. We've seen him teased at San Diego Comic-Con, so we knew he was coming. We were very aware of that. But these next few images were of a figure. We saw him teased at San Diego Comic-Con, you know, leading a whole bunch of skeleton warriors. But we had no idea whether or not he would actually be coming to the line. And now we're getting these official images. Holy crap, everybody. Take a look. Yes. Thanks again to Motu Origin fans on Facebook. We have our first look at Snake Armor Skeletor. Wow. Holy crap, everybody. Look at these freaking images. He's looking amazing. Oh, my goodness. Now, I don't have as much, um, you know, um, attachment to Snake Armor uh, Skeletor. I believe he did appear in uh, the, the Master Universe 2000X series. And, man, I got to say, he looks freaking amazing. I love the new armor details. I love the way he, you know, he's got that juxtaposition of the purple along with the bright, bright orange uh, copper, if you will. Um, yeah, and, of course, the armor itself has that, uh, you know, snake motif. It's got a hood, almost like a cobra, those huge fangs that come around to form uh, the breastplate. Just beautiful, those, those, those incredible emerald eyes complementing the green that's inside of Skeletor's face. Oh my goodness, just crazy. I love the way the, the, the actual helmet uh, surrounds Skeletor's hood. Wow! And of course, this tiny little one, this one little last detail of this silver ornamentation that's on top of his head. Beautiful stuff. He also comes with two uh, weapons, including this emerald... Uh, is that a sword? I'm thinking it's a sword, but it could be, it could be a staff. Uh, but it looks incredible. Somebody will probably tell me in the uh, comment section below. And of course, this wonderful uh, purple shield. Holy crap. It has almost a juxtaposition of Skeletor's uh, you know, face along with some fangs. Beautiful depictions of, of the Snake Men heraldry there. Just incredible. Yeah, looking at, looking at him here, he's looking so well put together. I do love the way it looks. Look at the size of that shield compared to Skeletor. Holy crap, it's huge. And I do believe it is some sort of staff or perhaps some sort of bludgeoning device. I don't think it's a sword. Um, 
It just it seems a little too thick to be a sword. It looks like some sort of mystical staff, uh, which is in line with, with Skeletor's uh, character. If anybody knows what this is from the 2000X series, please leave it in the comment section below. I'd love to learn more about this. This is amazing. The, the details are all here. I love the fact that they've actually gone ahead and given us really beautiful close-ups of this. I love the sculpting in this particular version. However, it should be noted that the retail version of the 2000X Skeletor actually had better sculpting features on the final product than they did in, in, the, in the production photos. So we can actually be seeing some even more uh, detail in the character when he's being released. So that's going to be wonderful to actually find out exactly what we're getting uh, when they finally hit store shelves. I do love the scale patterns that are in the armor. Holy crap. I love the way he's put together. It almost looks like he's a different buck, but we know for a fact that this is the exact same mold that they use over and over for each and each individual character from the Mass Universe. I love the fact that, uh, you know, the snake arm is just so huge and just imposing. I'm really looking forward to actually picking up this version of Skeletor to complement the snake armor he-man this is incredible here's another back shot of the of the character and i love the fact that the straps are they're almost concealed you know the actual place where they where they affix to i really do love that it's a wonderful wonderful design for the armor and seriously this is going to be one of my favorite characters going forward i really do believe so this is incredible are you guys interested in any of these uh, wonderful reveals that they happen to showcase on Master Universe Origins fan page on Facebook? Guys, I'm super excited for all these new Snake Man figures. Obviously, we've seen most of them before, but Snake Armor Skeletor, man, I'm super excited about that. He looks so amazing. And of course, the Ground Ripper, oh man, I'm super excited to be able to get that. A little sad that he does no, he no longer has his rip feature, but you know what? At the end of the day, I'm just super glad to be able to get a new vehicle in the Master Universe Origins collection. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. Hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. We have the power, everybody. We have the power. Keep proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow. And I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.